to another edition of Late Night Parents. This is our special, our special Father's Day edition. How's that? How are we doing? There it is. Hey, everybody, everybody. Father's Day is around the corner. We are gearing up. This is, you know, last week I forgot it was hump day. And uh, so happy hump, everybody. Hope you got your hump on. What do we got here, Adam? Baby board. The Pampers? Ah, the Pampers baby board. Look at you. My precious. And, ah, you dirty dog. That's the iPad, huh? Yeah, nice. Yes, and you could tell it's the iPad too. Oh, that's the is that the uh, screen? Case? Oh, you got a green one. So yeah. he's got the he's got the Pampers iPad. He's got the only iPad that smells like poo. Hey, that's uh. Right. That's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty. I'm pretty excited about that. So yeah, just I didn't have it. No, no, don't. No. So yeah. So uh, let's jump into it. So this is our special Father's Day edition. I'll talk to you about the uh, iPad in a second. Uh, so I got the iPad by being at Pampers. I am part of their baby board, which is kind of their uh, their blogger program where they bring in bloggers, they talk to us about what Pampers are doing, and we had great, great, some, great fun. I uh, got to meet some great bloggers I haven't met before, and um, now I am meeting, and I, I saw some old friends, you know, I have definitely old friends there, and uh, now I'm back here. So I flew back in this morning, I was at the 140 conference, and uh, I was supposed to, I was like kind of on deck, as they like to say in baseball, I was waiting to pitch if anyone if anyone was hit by a bus or late and uh, I was going to do a lunchtime thing and the guy that was going to that was maybe maybe showed up so I was not speaking today but I am officially on the roster for tomorrow at 435 if you check out the 140 conference U stream and then from there I'll be going off to the uh, Pampers Father's Day barbecue woohoo hmm. all right nice. very so, nice look at you busy 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 I do work. I did work today. I went into the office, and I will be doing work tomorrow morning as I have uh, as stuff going on work tomorrow morning. All right. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I don't think I'm ever, you know, a- Amy, uh, Amy wants to know if you, if you have a work, Adam. And I'm, you know, I'm thinking, I don't know. I don't know. If you're, if you're, Wait, 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 boss wait, is, this is coming from the guy that's going to go to the boss and say, I want to work from home five days a week. <laughs> Half well, days. you know, I, I want to yeah. drive home two hours, five days a week. So I'll leave the office yeah. at noon. I'll get home at two, and then I'll work till five from home. Well, I think a lot of people, you know, they don't they don't get what they want because they just only ask for it. So I figure if you, you know, and I think like the more obnoxious that something is, that people are so shocked that you even asked it that they they're stupefied and they're just like, okay, I guess that's fine. You know, that's <laughs> like what response. It's like it's like I would like to work half days five days a week and I'll come in and I'm going to leave around lunch and I'll sign on later. I, I got to tell you, and you there, say- there's, there's two things in life, right? There, there's a job that just gives you a paycheck and then there's a passion and then there's right. the job that you love, right? The passion right. job that you love. So like people on our forum is definitely that have jobs that they love. Like Amy has a job that she loves. She, this right. is her passion. This is what she does. This is awesome for her. I, I have a job that I like going to, and I like the people at my job, and I like what I do at my job, and sometimes right. it is just a job. Sometimes it is passion because I get to do a project that doesn't have restrictions on it, like go build this, and we stopped asking you a long time ago, how long does it take you to write a PHP script? When they ask you, like, oh, yeah, you'll have this done in an hour, and it's like, an hour? you asking me to build an entire CMS. You want it done in an hour? This isn't, you know, the Pizzeria Uno, you know? takes a little time. Yes, I am geeking tonight. All right. Geeking so, out. Geek out. Right. Jo- Josh is a job that, you know, could be a passion, right? Uh, yeah, my, my job could be a passion for people that are passionate about jobs, but uh, yeah. I'm not passionate about jobs, so that's for other people. Yeah. I like to do this stuff. Yeah. Right? Okay. So tonight so, is our last show before Father's Day. Congratulations yep. to the fathers. You've officially made it. Woo! That means your wife or partner has not killed you yet. Congratulations. All right. Yep. Uh, so tonight on the show, we have some giveaways. We are going to talk we about have, yeah. some great last-minute Father's Day gifts. 
and we are going to talk about um, some new some new additions to Late Night Parents because we've been building up to it, and it's here. We we have them. You have seen posts, so we we are excited to welcome our new writers. Yes, yes, we have uh, some new new folks joining us. Um, we have Melly who uh, just posted a. Something up on Late Night Parents the other day. It's uh, sexified, and uh, there's a bit of mommy single parenting stuff mixed in, which is kind of fun. Right. So, uh, so yeah. we have we have a nice expert for moms to ask advice for and to. So Melly is joining us, and she's going to be doing her kind of stories on single mommy dumb and some, you know, the the dating life of being a single mom and some advice for other moms that are not single, but just, you know, want to kind of spark it up a little bit. And she's going to have some great stories about that. We have Tom, who is uh, a Connecticut-based dad of a four-month-old, and he's going to be starting to take on some of the review units. Um, so he's going to be doing some, you know, we have a Tommy Tippy review coming up real soon. And, of course, mm-hmm. with the review, we might have a giveaway. Hey, that's what we're doing. So there you go. Uh, that's what's going on there. And then you'll start seeing some video contributions. We have a lot of great moms coming on the site. We have a few dads that, you know, um, are saying that they want to contribute. So we're going to slowly but surely ramp this up. In the next few weeks, you're going to see a major overhaul of design as we have these new categories coming on. And so really stay tuned. We're really looking forward to it. Father's Day is our day. It's our weekend. So probably after Father's Day, you're going to start seeing some major, major overhauls. Overhaul. Um, that's it. Much different than, that's it. Uh, that's yeah. the That's the update on Late Night Parents. So uh, you can check it out. You can find us, follow us. Uh, there's the information. Tweet at us. Tweet us at Late Night yeah. Parent. Facebook us. Woohoo! All right. So the other the other thing you might start hearing and seeing on Twitter is go.lmp.tv. This is our new domain name. LMP.tv will take you back to latenightparents.com. Go.lmp.tv is the shorty. It's our nice little total friendly thing. All right. So, Josh, you put it out there in the chat room. What do we got going on tonight? We got hey. we got some hey, beef jerky. I'm, I'm- I was about to say I'm double fisting it, but that sounds really gross. You're and, double fisting uh, the beef. I, I'm double fisting, or the jerky. double fisting my beef. You're, du- you're double fisting the jerky. I'm, yeah. I, I got all ten fingers moving here. It's fast and furious, and it's below the keyboard, so you guys don't really know what I'm doing, um, which is probably good for you and 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 really good for me, actually. Um, hey now. Hey now. It. Hey now. This is late night parents. Um. So yeah, so t- tonight, a little later on the show, we're giving away some the king of all the king of all beef jerky, Slim Jim. <laughs> New dare, dare. This stuff is like this stuff is mega hot. Um, there's there's three flavors here. There's there's the chili pepper, and then we got uh, jalapeno. We got the jalapeno flavor. There you go. And then we got habanero. Habanero. So this stuff is um, very long. Um, careful, careful. Uh, and uh, it's super, super hot. I actually like hot stuff. Um, yeah. But uh, this is, like, really hot. Like, you know, your eyes are watering and you're about to lose your voice. It's super hot. The... That's I like them all, actually. But, so we're giving away a couple packs of these. Actually, two winners are going to get two boxes of those guys. So that's on the list for tonight. If you guys don't know Slim Jim, you don't know Beef Jerky. And if you don't know Beef Jerky, well, then you don't know Beef Jerky. Um, so we got that tonight, which is very cool. Grew up eating Slim Jim, so um, good stuff. Let's see what else. Uh, oh, a little later on tonight, we're also going to be giving away a, a book, which is perfect for Father's Day. It's called Daddy Dates by Gregory White. Uh, right, excuse me. And uh, this is actually a cool little book. Um, first of all, for those of you that aren't like big readers um, like me, it, this is under 200 pages. So, yeah. So, dads, you know, you guys can devour does, this. Does in, it like, come in a graphic comic? Uh, does, does Daddy have a superpower? 
Daddy doesn't. Well, that's actually, what I it's read. got one of those. It's got one of those cool little things here, so you can like watch a video or whatever. Ooh, so that's a QR that's code. Cool. Yeah. Fancy. So we're giving away um, two of these guys tonight. It, it, it's actually it's a great little story about um, a guy who um, in his thirties found that he had four daughters in the house, and uh, he was the only male in the house. And uh, in fact, even his dog was was female. Uh, so I am sorry for you. That's yeah, a lot of estrogen. See, he devised this, you know, plan where he would do a bunch of daddy dates with his daughters to try and actually learn about them as people and really um, try to connect with them. I think a lot of dads in general um, have problems with, you know, relating to to their daughters um, for obvious reasons. But uh, he kind of finds a way to break the barrier, and uh, it's it's kind of a light uh, a light read. Uh, good tips and uh, overall good book and a great little Father's Day thing. So we're giving away two of these tonight. So there you are, uh, folks. Um, also tonight, a little later on, we're going to give away this Ninny Toy Bungee. Now this is cool. Um, we actually we actually use this in the house. This is like the greatest thing. This is like one of those things where you wish you invented it because if if you have I, I little did. kids, I actually told the you, guy when did you I met him. It? I met when I met him at ABC. I said I made this. I invented this. Yeah. This, this oh. is actually this is actually a great thing. This is you know, t- tell them about it. Yeah. So um, what's cool about it is that uh, you know you have little kids and they're at their uh, they're at their little you know high chair and what what do kids love to do when they're at the high chair? They, they two things. One, they throw their food off the tray, and two, they throw their milk off the tray. Usually in that order. And uh, my back is killing from always bending over and picking up the crap off the floor. But with this thing, what's cool is that it actually connects one uh, side to the high, high chair and then the other side to – it wraps around the actual cup, around the sippy cup. So, wah, over goes the sippy cup and guess what? Hey, it's dangling. And guess what, little kitty? It's not on the floor. That's right. You didn't get daddy this time. It's hanging. It's hanging. You're going to have to pull it up yourself if you want to drink. That's right. It didn't touch the floor. It's not messy. And I don't gotta bend over. And, so and double win much, there. And, that, and that's pretty much a parent's dream, right? So the sippy cup yeah. isn't thrown out of the stroller, and you leave it somewhere because you don't hear it drop. The toy isn't gone missing. So when you have kids and toddlers, those little like attachments that keep the toys bouncing back are awesome. They become right. priceless and invaluable. So we believe in it as parents. I definitely had one for Mark. Uh, when I actually met the guy, I said, wow, that's awesome. And um, I said I created something like that was a piece of string. But he's like, no, 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 piece of string is a choking hazard. This isn't – this has, like, you know, safety precautions in there. So awesome, awesome. Yeah. So awesome. We'll, be, we'll be doing uh, two of those. And um, then for, you know, Father's Day, a lot of people talk about how they want barbecues, right? Right. So our big thing is why not? And so tonight – our friends at Omaha Steak, they're thrilled to the grill. They're giving Throw us the grill. They're giving us some nice little giveaways. And two winners from tonight's show is going to get the picnic pack, which is 16 burgers and 16 francs straight from Omaha beef. Comes to you frozen. What's better than that? What is better than that? We got, uh, we got the picnic pack with burgers and dogs. Right? All right. Very awesome. We're giving away two of those tonight. And actually on the site, uh, we probably should mention just real quick since we're talking about Omaha Steaks, is that on our site we're doing a really cool giveaway right now. If, if you go and check it out after the show, we're actually giving away uh, their grill package. It's got two filet mignons, two top sirloins, four chicken breasts, four boneless pork chops, four Omaha Steak burgers, four stuffed baked potatoes, uh, and it's got, it comes with a free six-piece cutlery set and a free cutting board. So Ooh, it's got the whole the works. Love. I mean, that yeah. is that so, is a and, package. That's going to come in a that, massive. That's a package. Box. That's that, a that that's a big package. Box. That's okay. what she said. Um. So that's hey, going away on the site. But tonight, tonight, uh, and, the wait, show, wait, 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 wait. Before we but, before we but, go on, the last big giveaway yeah. that's on our site, we can't forget to mention it, is the Schwinn bike giveaway. We're giving away Schwinn, yes. four Schwinn? four Schwinn bikes. Right, a mama bike, a dada bike, a baby bike. And a baby bike. So you get two kid bikes and you get two parent bikes and they're awesome and check it out. All right. So late night parents dot com. Dot com. Uh, very cool. Yeah. So that's going on on the uh, on the site. Uh, but tonight, like I said, we're, we're giving away two of the uh, state of the uh, dogs and burger deal. So 
Stick around for that. We will be giving those away shortly, too. We have a lot of stuff tonight. Um, we kind yes, of we went through a phase. We're giving away a lot of stuff, which is it's just fun. And then we said, you know, we really want to try to, you know, add some other stuff to the show, things to talk about, which things is for true. parents to come back to, which is very true, um, which is what we're trying to do. And then, and we did that for a while, and now we're coming back. We have a lot of stuff uh, this week, and I think it's, you know, all around the Father's Day thing, just trying to trying to give back. So that's kind of cool. Um, okay, so first up on the list, Father's Day gift ideas. Ready? Let's go. All right. Well, I mean, Father's Day, I guess I guess. I'll just tell you one thing. Just walk into the Apple Store. <laughs> Bam. Right like that. Anything I. I, Dad, should be the device. I. Yeah. I, toilet. I, paper. <laughs> I, so, whatever. So here, here's some great gift ideas, right? You yeah. could go into Target. Target's got some great stuff. And I actually believe Target now sells the Apple magnets, right? I actually saw them in, in the back of a Target store. And so it's these Apple icon magnets, and they're about 10 bucks, and it's a great little Father's Day gift. The big thing that I like also is pictures. My wife is a photographer, she takes amazing photos, and so every Father's Day I sometimes get a picture of my son. And every year, since he grows so much, it's a nice change for me to change out my desk photo of Mark. So I get a great photo in a new frame every year, and I love it, and it sits on my desk, and everyone comments about how cute my kid is, which makes me feel good. On top of that, I get to sit there and say, and my wife took the photo. So that's a really nice gift idea. I What's like next? It. What's next for you? What's a nice gift idea for you? Um, you know, we talked about this last week, I think, but anything um, kind of event related, like where you could take your kids to. So, if your husband likes baseball or football, you know, get him a um, get him some some tickets to the game. But depending on how old you know your children are, get it so you know get him a couple tickets so he can take the kids with him. So, well, it's kind of a double a double win for everybody because what's cool is dad gets to spend time at doing his favorite thing in a baseball game or whatever. And he gets to spend time with his kids. And guess what, moms? You get the day alone because now dad's got the kids. I like that. that. That's so, sneaky. That's see sneaky. that? I like uh, that. that. That's the uh, double uh, thing. Yeah. All right. The I, one, I got you. I, one suggestion I like is do, taking the kid to a pottery place and taking the kid's handprint and putting it on, say, like a nice little plate or you know something that the dad could have. My wife did it for me, and I still have it to this day, and I love it is um, a nice little box that I keep some the mementos in. So I'm like, when I keep my watch when I'm not wearing it, the cufflinks and all that good stuff, you know, some nice photos that are totally priceless to me, I keep in that little nice box. And it's kind of like a cigar box, but it's got the handprint of my son on it from when he was a baby, and I love it to this day, and I think it was an amazing gift idea. What, what else do you got? Oh, boy. You know, I mean, I kind of think, you know, yeah, there's a lot of material things we can get, but, uh, you know, and we've talked about this before, too. I, I like those, you know, the idea of those little, like, IOU cards or little kind of, like, um, I don't know, little nice things, like a, a massage uh, one night or uh, something like that, that event, where you don't actually have to spend money. Because um, I, I don't think, you know, it's really about you have to spend a lot of money for Father's Day for a dad. I think, you know, the, the fact that you're... You're just showing consideration, you know. You're showing that that you appreciate dad for what he's done and what he's doing, and and uh, for him, you know, from being a great dad and, and hopefully helping out around the house. And you know, I think those little kind of little sex coupons, little uh, little back rub kind of thing or front rub. Hey now, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, you know, I think those are all kind of good things too, and it doesn't cost any money, and it's a way for for mom and dad to connect on a on a different kind of level, which is nice. If mom and dad aren't really connecting, which Okay, we won't go there, but uh, anyway, I'd like a book, you know, of, of things, so, yeah. All right, ne- last but not least is things from the kids, right? So, Amy mentioned in the chat room, what about cards from the kids? Handmade cards from the kids, priceless. The best thing that I've actually seen lately is taking the flip cam out, shooting the kids, have them do like a little one or two minute speech. From so, the shooting kids. the kid? Yeah, yeah oh. no, well, you know, videotaping the kid. Video. Okay. right. So, videotaping the kid... And getting them to do some like heartbreaking message for dad that you could put up on YouTube and it lives forever, right? It is just a great message from dad and I think it's funny and who knows, maybe it goes viral and you get the kid on Ellen. Have him say some crazy stuff. So right. there you go. All right. So I think that covers some basics. Um, 
the next basics kind of that those are kind of specific gift ideas the last kind of things are genres right sporting gifts for dad if they're sporting golf bags golf clubs golf this golf ball markers for the fishing dad get him a new pole some lures some next things hunting dads okay we've got a hunting dad that's just weird next is the guy that's like auto mechanics try try checking out where the auto shows are maybe take him to a classic auto show how about the best thing that I ever heard was taking dad and just giving him the day off, right? That's cool, but that's not what I want to do. I want to spend time with my kids. So what I really exactly. like and what I really appreciate is when, you know, it's kind of role reversal. Is usually I'm the one kind of usually paying for dinner. Is like if my wife would make the plans, take us out for dinner, and, you know, have us have the day where, I, you know, I kind of have a little bit of a laid back day, but I get to spend it with my wife and my kids as my wife is sitting there going, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> She's joking right now. I'm watching it. Yeah. She's turning, turning green. <laughs> She's turning green. Oh. Yeah. She didn't, she didn't like that. Oh, <laughs> All right. All right. So, um, there was an article on uh, sfgate.com. Talking about the measles outbreak and vaccines in the U.S., we're having right. the worst outbreak in 15 years. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, right? This is like uh, this is the next. The world is falling. Um, there will be a major outbreak. All of your kids will get measles, and by, by they will the, be very sick. By the way, sick. folks, if you're taking notes, this is where we actually talk about parenting now. Yeah, this Just is the case. parenting section of the late night parents. First, we start with the late, then the night. And now we get to the parents. That's right. So, so that's- the worst measles outbreak in 15 years with 152 cases being reported so far in 2011. Yep. Okay. So, you know, this goes to talk about the bottom line of vaccines, right? Right. Do we believe in vaccines? Uh, you know, there's been studies out that show that vaccines cause uh, kids to turn purple and to grow, you know, third feet and that sort of thing. And so, uh, you know, do you believe the 12 case studies um, done in Malaysia or do you go with what everybody else in the world is doing? Uh, no, I wasn't staking claim there. I was just, you know, talking about what, you know, the situation is. Adam, what, what, how do you feel about, uh, about vaccines? You know, what have you guys done with Mark and uh, what's your take on it? So we've done... You know, Mark is up to his regimented pediatrician recommended vaccines. Um, there was only one vaccine that we kind of asked the doctor if we could delay because it was like supposed to be four shots in one appointment. We were like, that sounds a little much. Four? No. Uh, you know, let's, we'll come back again in a couple of weeks and you'll give it another two then. So we kind of did one, like I think at the 18 month old treatment when he was supposed to get four shots, we kind of said, okay, we'll come back in like two weeks or something and you'll split them up two and two. And he was like, yeah, no problem. So. Um, yeah, so it's been really good, and we were able to do it, and I definitely attended most of his pediatric appointments until he was, yeah, all of his, how many pediatric appointments did I attend? Then, like, all of his pediatric appointments until he was, like, a year and a half, so about the 18 months mark is when I kind of dropped off and kind of said, I don't really need to go to just a checkup where they're not doing anything much. Um, yeah, the well child visits... Uh, yeah, and I've definitely taken him to some sick child visits. And I got to tell you, taking your kid for like a head cold to the doctor, sometimes he comes home worse than when he went in. So, All right. yeah, always fun. But yes, we do believe taking the kid to the doctor a lot. My wife definitely more so than I do. I guess I kind of go with the uh, whole like put some tussin on it and shake it off. But okay, well. Yeah, you know, I uh, we're we're having some nasty talk in the chat room over here, Adam. Yeah, uh, yeah, I got I gotta say, um, you know, yeah, my t- you know, I give the kids all kinds of shots. I think just you know, drug them up. I think it's good. You know, they come home, they're tired, they go to sleep. Um, the worst comes to worst, they lose a couple brain cells, but they're my children, so they didn't really have any to begin with. So I think they're fine. I don't, I, I don't really believe you know the, the studies that you read that aren't really even studies and. I kind of believe in science, and I kind of feel like, you know, if there was really a problem, you would see it, like, widespread. It wouldn't be three people, um, you know, and, and, and it wouldn't be, I don't know, celebrities backing it. It would be doctors backing it. So, you know, that's my take. I, 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 hey, look, I, I, I'll say this. I, I respect every parent's um, opinion on the matter. If you're a parent and you don't uh, feel that vaccines are right or, you know, certain vaccines aren't right, 
I, hey, that's fine. You know, I, I'm not going to give anybody grief or whatever. I think that's, you know, it's everyone's personal opinion to that. It's just for me with my kids, uh, I don't like giving them any any medication or, you know, I don't like introducing chemicals into their body. Uh, so I, I do try and shy away from that. In fact, we've missed a couple flu shots uh, because of that. But for the most part, the, the major things, you know, we've always gotten. And look, my kids are still alive. Um, they're barely, you know, they're kind of talking. Um, they hop every once in a while. So, you know, I think they're doing okay. Um, so I'm just going to go with that. But uh, that's my take on, on that. As far as the measles outbreak, that kind of sucks. Um, but, you know, a lot of these reports, you know, I think you hear about these big, you know, epidemic things, and then all of a sudden, you know, you don't hear about it anymore because, I don't know, Justin Bieber, uh, you know, fell on his face or something or poopied his pants, and so that's the next big thing. So um, that's kind of my thing, right? But, uh, yeah. Wait, really? He fell on his face? I feel so bad. I... No, I know. I know. We, 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 we have different opinions about that. Okay, so. Yeah. What's left? Giveaways. Well, well what's wait, that? No. What's left? Uh, we, got, uh, we got the crazy chat room. You know, they're, they're, we, got, we got flu shots and Bieber going in the chat room here. What's um, a Fieber? Isn't a what, fever, what is a fever? Isn't a fever that little alien creature from Jack's Big Music Show? I think so. <laughs> can, you tell I, can you tell I have a kid? Amy also had a high a high fever. She had a high fever the other day, and uh, and actually when I was in Israel uh, a couple months back, um, we were right across the street from Justin Bieber actually, which was kind of weird. Um, I don't know if I told you that story. Adam. No, what's that story? Is it a good yeah, story? Yeah, we. we uh, well, we stayed, we stayed in an apartment. Uh, my sister lives in Israel. We were there for her wedding for a week, and we, we actually rented an apartment. It was right across from the Sheraton Tel Aviv. And so we actually um, we parked a couple blocks away from our apartment, and the gar- the parking garage was literally right across the street from the Sheraton. And so we're pulling up to the garage, and we see all these little girls just screaming. And I thought, you know, quick, you know, cover me. and Because I didn't tell anybody where I was going, and I thought, you know, just... You know, make sure there's no helicopters. I don't need any press around me. This is embarrassing because I was in a van. And then I realized it actually wasn't for me. Um, they actually didn't know I was there and uh, nobody really cared. And then we looked over and realized that Justin Bieber was there, which explained it all because um, he's kind of a little cooler than this old fat dad. Um, so, but yeah, so Justin Bieber was like right there at the Sheraton. I guess he came to do some performances, which is weird. You, you fly 10,000 miles away from home and you're like in the Middle East. And Justin Bieber is there. It's like seriously. I mean, so that was kind of weird. But uh, yeah. So um, where did Justin Bieber come from? Some uh, Shannon. I don't know where Justin Bieber came from. Uh, Canada. He's Canadian. Is he, he from Canada? Yes. Is he an yes. import? Um, yes. He or he came or he came from hell. Uh, we're not sure. Um, either, you know, Canadians are very nice. So I, I'm thinking maybe he didn't come from Canada. I don't know. But he seems like a nice kid. It's I Canada. Guess. He's just. He's yeah. a kid. Yeah. Can we send him back? I wish we could send him back. In fact, the most that, teeny no, bopper singer... Ma- Mike, Mike is correct. He actually came from YouTube. That's it. He came, from, he came he from ha- YouTube. He has no nation on his passport. is now stamped YouTube. I like that idea. There you go. All right. There you go. So. There it is. Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, we had something else, don't we? We, yes. Adam, we always have now, we have something else. So, what next is time to, oh, ask, we, you know, time to ask the chat room? Right? No? Did I skip something? Yeah, let's, let's, you know, let's, let's get, the chat room's been kind of, it's been pretty active. Uh, let's ask the chat room that question right there. So. What, what's the question? Yeah, the question is. Um, if you had a question to ask us, what would the question be? That's the question. So there it is. There, there's the question. If you had a question to ask us, what, what would it be? That's the only question. That's a good question because it, it's an important question. question. Why? You have to ask yourself what's your, what you're going to ask. Here, here's a better That's question. The first Do you question. like the Wednesdays at 10 versus the Mondays at 11? Mm. That's a better question. That is a good question, actually. We, we, we start off doing the shows on Monday night at uh, 11 o'clock Eastern, 8 o'clock Pacific, and we moved them to, uh, well, to now, I guess, and you kind of know where now is. So, I don't know. You guys, uh, it looks like we have some, some votes for the hump. 
Uh, hump or no hump? I guess that's the question. Hump or no hump? Hump, yes. Cindy, I like to hump too. I mean, I like Wednesdays also. I vote, okay, we have another hump vote. Very good. Um, how do you keep the alligator in your shirt, Adam? From biting you. From biting your nipple, no less. Amy wants to know. I, I feed him. You Oh. I feed him this okay. side. I feed him this side so he doesn't get angry. Okay. So th this side Ten. is all empty. It, ha it had a piece of meat over here. I, I stapled bacon. You had a piece of meat on your chest? Yeah, and the bacon lured the alligator away. Yeah, I get, uh, Wonder, Wonder and Dreams didn't realize you had that shirt on, so it's a, the Lacoste shirt, isn't it? Sure. Yeah, those are very comfortable. Yes, yes. Yeah. They're, they're, they're gnarly. I like alligators. I actually have a picture of an albino alligator. Have you ever seen a picture of an albino alligator? I, I yeah, I think I have. Uh, really? I've never seen one in person, yeah. You've seen an albino alligator in life? I, I Yeah, they're, they're, they're white. Well, yeah, they're white. That takes all the fun out of it. Sorry. Okay. I was going to show you a picture of an albino alligator. You actually have a picture of an albino alligator. Um, Shannon needs uh, needs her meat, apparently, in the chat room. So um, See, that that is what an albino alligator looks like. It's oh, freaking. wow. That's, that's strange and gross and interesting all at once. Uh, let me ask you something, Adam. Why do you have a picture of an albino alligator on your phone? Because I went to uh, a zoo with my uh, child, and we saw um, that kind of animal. Okay. Yeah, we saw that, and um, a tiger. We, we took. Oh picture. my! We took pictures with Grandma in front of a fake uh, tiger. And, yeah, uh, a big kitty. Yeah. That that's pretty much it. Name that's right. Name name that animal. Um, that do you have any others that are like we, we, we might not know what they are? Yeah, we we covered. That's right. Okay, Maxine. I could I could go with this one. Every, everyone should know who this is. Wait 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 for it to focus. Oh my! Hey, look who that is! It's it's Data Rocks. Oh my God! How did you get a picture with Data Rocks? Right. No, that's look, very cool. The female Man, she, is. She's beautiful. She looks just like she does on TV. It's yeah. like, look at you. You're looking pretty. You're looking pretty dapper there, my man. Look at yeah. You. yeah. You're wearing a collared shirt. I think yeah. It's the first time Imagine I've seen, that. Like, kind of -down shirt. Well, I'm wearing a collared shirt tonight. This is collar. I could pop the collar. Then it could be all cool. How are you doing? Wow. I gotta say, can we stop popping the collars? There's no more pop collars allowed. That's that's over. Yeah. I used to do that actually. I used to. I used to wear the, you know, the. The collar popped. Is that is that going to come back? Yeah. No. Can we do that? No. Yeah. There's no more pop okay. collars. They're done. They're, they're, they're dorky. All right. That's it. Time to go. Everyone, good night. Oh, wait. Giveaways. Ah. Everyone. Wait, no, everyone's no, been waiting no, for. All right. Too much. Too Here much. Here we go. So uh, we got uh, first up. We're doing the Daddy Dates book. Right. We got two copies of the Daddy Dates book. Um, Great read. It's nice and short, but packed full of good stuff. And this will be a great read for moms also, not just dads. Um, but but uh, if, if you're um, no, we, if we the did dad in your we, life we has did, daughters. We can just do the giveaway. We've already talked about the book. Yeah, let's just do the giveaway. We should Why just don't do we, the giveaway. We, we've I have a better idea. Why don't we just do the giveaways? Because we've already talked about it. I think that's what All right. Good. Yeah. All right. So <clears throat> let's... Uh, why don't we go with that? All right, let's 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 start handing this stuff out, Adam. It's Christmas in, in June. La, what do you la, say, la. right? Sure, let's do it. All right, so um, lucky for uh, for Mom Forever, um, you got yourself a copy here of Daddy Dates. Uh, there you go. That's our first one. Adam, who is who's, 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 who's the first one? Mom Forever. Okay. Hopefully there's a Dad Forever in your life. Uh, or you know a dad forever, uh, or dad sometimes, or you know a dad once was uh, four, and you could um, that would be like a nice gift, or maybe you just like, want to read it yourself. So there you go. All right. So first one, who's who's next, Adam? We got one more of those to give away. Kim H C. 
Kim H C. Very good. Congratulations, Kim H C. And Mom Forever. You two are the uh, are the fine winners of our Daddy Dates book by Greg Wright. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, all right, let's move on here. We got. Um, let's do a let's do a fun thing with uh, with with our hot uh, this hot meat. Did you you guys want any hot meat? Hot, spicy beef. Um, there it is. Jalapeno. All right, so we got um, we got these boxes of these guys. So we have two on yeah on a steak. That's right, Cindy. Hot beef on a steak. Steak. You have to say it with the with the little accent, don't you? Uh, so we have it's two boxes on a, stick. Of, on a stick. It's not hot on a beef stick. On, a, on a stick. No, it's so, just it's just it's snap into a slim jim. It, it's a slim jim. It's a it's a it's a stick of beef. So and um, these are awesome. Spicy. They're Spicy. really hot. They're though. really so, hot. So, so very very hot. They're hot meat. Hot meat. Um, so we got those. So um, Adam. Uh, Let's see. You know who, who the the first box of uh, of these guys just went to uh, Life on Print actually. So there you go. Congratulations, Life on Print. Uh, you just won yourself a box of hot meat. Hot meat. <laughs> That's just gross. That's so gross. But you know what? I love Slim Jim, so this is fun. Anyway, all right. So, so that was there you Life go. on Print who won that. Yeah, Life on Print won the box of meat. So, <laughs> who else? Uh, who's our second Slim Jim? Slim Jim winner. Who do, our wiener? I think I do have broccoli in my teeth. Uh-uh. I don't know. I did. I had. That's funny. I had. Wait a minute. This is. Hold on a second. I realize that a lot of what I say is very public, right? I mean, Adam, you get this too, right? Because we're on Twitter all the time. You always say things, you know. And people say things, and I'm like, "How the hell did you know that I had broccoli for dinner?" All right, let me let me go with this. Uh, anyway, so good. Let, let's do this, Adam. We have a second box of hot beef to give away. All right, the second box of hot beef just went to one very sick, spicy, resourceful mama. There you go. So. Hot beef is injecting your way. Adam, what do we got next? <laughs> That's just silly. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. Um, next up, we got the uh, Nini Toy Bungee. So this works for toys and for... Uh, and for... Uh, yeah. Right here, right here. Yeah, Nini, we got two of these guys. Two of these guys. Seriously, these, you know, they're like not the biggest thing in the world, but it's like the, it's they're totally cool. They they keep the sippy cups on the tray, which is wonderful. So there you go. We got two of these to give away. Adam, do you see somebody in the magic ball who's going to win? If not, I have somebody right here who, who already won it. Yeah, who won it? Who won it? Was love my baby Geo? Baby Gio, love my underscore baby G I O E I O. I don't know, um, but but you won. So you won one of these guys. If you have a little one in the house, uh, or you know somebody that does, they're very cool. So we have one more of those to give away. And are you with are you with us, Adam? Yep. Are you are you following along? I'm good. I'm catching up. Everyone's getting the nice message. You're, you're, you're getting what? Everyone's getting the message that okay. they won. I'm, I'm doing, oh, good, I'm doing good, the good. back end thing so we can actually All right, take you, care of the prizes. You, you, Adam is doing the back end. That's okay, why I don't have good. a nice picture behind me. Not No windows of the world. I have actually – I know. That's background. right. That's right. You were supposed to have the, uh, the window behind you. You didn't do that tonight. Yeah, well, the 10 o'clock is actually going to be much harder than I thought to set that up. So. Mm. Okay. Um. Very cool. Well, so we have uh, we have one more of these uh, guys to uh, to give away tonight, and um, it looks like our uh, our good friend Ice Cream Deprived is gonna uh, get one of these right here. So there you are. That's the second winner. 
Congratulations. Um, and let's see. We got we, we gave away our hot our hot meat. We gave away uh, our daddy date book. We gave away the uh, our little bungee guys. And um, we have two more uh, two more big giveaways of the night, which are the Omaha steak packages, the picnic packs. They have the burgers and the dogs. So um, that's what we're giving away tonight. Two more uh, coming up. So the first winner of our uh, Omaha Steaks Beef and Dogs goes to Brandon P. Dunk in. But dunk, dunk, dunk. So there you go. You just won yourself. Omaha Steaks Brandon P. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Just won some meat. Except you got frozen meat this time. This is not frozen. You got frozen. Omaha steaks, though, is very, very awesome. Um, I've been eating. Um, I've been eating their their beef for a long time, and uh, it's very flavorful. So there you go. Um, very cool. So we have one more of those to give away tonight, Adam. That's the. Uh, are you doing okay? You following us? No, no, I'm following you. I'm just I'm just listening to the crazy babble that's coming out of your mouth. It hurts my All right. sometimes. Well, hey, you asked me to talk. Do you want to do you want to do the finale, Adam? No. Do you want to finish? No, it's all, it's do you want right. to finish me off? Keep going. Okay. I'm not finishing all you right. off. I'm not finishing you off with your meat, your hard meat, your soft meat, your jerky. I'm not doing anything that involves just finishing you off on that end. All right, because I mean, I'm just offering, you know. It's just, oh, jeez. Kind of so, all right. So, anyway, our our uh, our, our second and and last Omaha Steaks uh, giveaway for tonight, which is the the burgers and the dogs. Goes to uh, goes to X Men sixty one. So congratulations, uh, X Men sixty one. I don't know if uh, I'm. You may be uh, a, a dude, a guy. I don't know. Um, but uh, it, we, either way, actually, congratulations. Uh, you've got some uh, some meat there to cook up. So very very cool. Don't forget that uh, we have our big Omaha steaks giveaway on our site. That's got all the meat. It's got. Filet mignon and sirloin, and it's it's got cutlery. I mean, we're giving it's you know it's got cutlery in the package, so that's very cool. That's on the site. Um, anybody can can go and enter to win that. And then we have our Schwinn bikes up there. Schwinn bikes pack of four up there on the site. So um, next, let's talk about next week real quick, Adam. No, it's not. It's going to be a disaster. So because of your lovely person in the chat room that we keep calling Amy, she uh, she's taking my beloved away from me. So Josh, Josh will be on a plane next Wednesday, and um, we're working out the details, and uh, yeah, yeah, it'll be awesome. Why did you just make the crashing sound, Josh? That was morbid. <laughs> Wait, look, look, you, you, got, you, you have my sick banter. I, I don't know what I'm ever talking about on this show. And, and this is like a good thing. I mean, you could actually have like we could have like a decent show. It won't have you know my mug on here. We won't have the, you know my stupid banter. And uh, yeah, I mean even even Brandon Pudunka Dunk Dunk thinks that's a good thing. So um, I don't know. And and that's right, Cindy. I don't have my sippy cup. Uh, we need to get a sippy cup on here. Actually, we're working on we're working on the sippy cups. The sippy cups are coming in July. We're, we're bringing back the sippy cups because. We like the sippy cups, so we're bringing them back. Right. So st- um, stick around. Stick around. Late night parents. You might see a form pop, pop up, and certain states may apply. Certain states may not. There might be wine in the near future on late night parents. All right. Yeah. So with that said, Melly might be pitching in for Josh next week. Yay, Melly! So for the first time ever, we might have a female on the show. Mm. That'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be that, hot. That's gonna be awesome. That would be awesome. So that would be awesome. Um, we're going to try. To, we're going to try to work on the details on that. Yes. Well, uh, we did say wine. We got. We have. Uh, you know, we have wine coming to the show, don't we, Adam? We do have wine. We might have giveaways of wine. Before. Yeah, we could be giving we, away we actually, wine. That's... We actually might have wine before. We might have giveaways of wine before the show, so you have it in time, so we could all have a tasting at the same time. That'd be cool. Yeah, check that out. If you guys had wine, and then we, but we all open it at the same time. Well, maybe we open it like That's... a couple minutes before the show, so we don't like have to fiddle with. A little before. before. We gotta let it breathe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Gotta let the wine breathe. So yeah, we got some some cool things coming up. And I mean, everybody likes. I, I was just gonna say everybody likes wine. And, and Cindy, of course, has to chime in. I don't like wine. Oh come on, Cindy. You know everybody likes wine. You, well, I'll drink yours. That's right, Shannel will drink yours too. 
Um, so there hey, you go. Look, Looks like just, and just for that, we might do beer one week too. All right, so it's not very w- yeah. Twitter momish of us. It's very, it's very parently. It is. It is parently. It's a parent thing of us. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, all right time, guys. Time to go, uh, folks. Uh, you can find uh, us on Twitter. Us, uh, uh, late night parent. Are, Twitter. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash late night parents. And please do not forget that we got giveaways going on all the time on Facebook. And we will have much, much more stuff. Check out my site, um, dadarocks.com, D-A-D-A-R-O-C-K-S. And Josh's site is dadstreet, D-A-D-S-T-R-E-E-T.com. And uh, we'll see you next week. Good night. Good night, guys. I will bring you to Cindy. Don't you worry. worry. Thanks Thanks for coming, guys. We'll see see you around. around. Alright, alright, very good. Adam, Adam, that was fun, dude.